Fellowship the man and oh what fellowship, fellowship. 
together. You're all together worthy. All together lovely. All together wonderful to me. Hallelujah. Just worship the King of Kings. Just worship the Lord of Lords. My soul does magnify the Lord. And my spirit praises his name. Not even death could not hold him captive. For even in the grave he is Lord. Can you just lift your hands and just declare underneath his tent that he is Lord. Come on, let's declare it this morning. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My soul does magnify the Lord. And my spirit prays. Even death could not hold him captive. Even in the grave, he is Lord. Even death could not hold him captive. Oh, 
Christ. Hallelujah. Do you have another praise for the Lord, somebody? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Have your hymnals with you. Turn with me to Him 400. All the fourth. As the praise team will be leading us in this hymn. Let us, my brothers and sisters, sing to the glory and to the honor of Almighty God. Glory be to God.
do is take us from field to come at this time and take us to the throne of grace. Oh, be be prayerful as she comes, my brothers and sisters. I am coming. Jesus sits. Jesus sits. acknowledging you, Lord God, to be the Savior of the world. We come this morning acknowledging you, Lord, to be the Lord of lords and the King of all kings. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, mighty God, for life this morning. We thank you, mighty God, that you will allow us to see another Sunday morning. Father, when we can be in your house, to lift up your almighty name. Hallelujah. Father, it's not the good that we have done this morning. Father, it's not because we have obeyed your laws and your commandments. But mighty God, this morning, it is the grace of God that keep extending to us. That's why we are able to stand in your presence. And so, Lord, as we stand in your presence this morning, we humble ourselves before you. We humble ourselves this morning, Lord God, before you this morning. And we acknowledge you, God. We acknowledge you this morning to be the Lord of our lives. We acknowledge you this morning to be the King of all kings. And we acknowledge you this morning to be the Lord of all lords. Father, this morning, we are in your house to worship you. We are in your house to lift up your almighty name. And Father God, we welcome this morning the presence of the Holy Spirit. And Lord God, as your Holy Spirit is here with us this morning, we pray, mighty God, as a church this morning, Lord, you will come down one more time. And mighty God, you will anoint each and every one of us this morning from the very crown of our heads to the very soles of our feet. Lord, allow us to feel and experience the Holy Spirit this morning. Father God, we pray this morning that as a church, mighty God, you will allow us to be so united this morning in your presence. You will so you allow us to be so united, mighty God, that when the Holy Spirit begins to flow, it will remind us of the day of Pentecost. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Mighty God, we pray this morning. We know, Lord God, that some are sick among us. We know this morning that some are mourning among us. We know this morning that some are depressed among us. And we know this morning, Lord God, that some mighty God is wondering what next. But this morning, mighty God, we come in your name, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to say that our God this morning is the God of all possibilities. And there is nothing that is short because your hands are not short concerning your promises to mankind. And Father God, you said if our heavenly Father, of us, if our earthly Father know how to give good gifts, much more you who is our spiritual Father this morning. So Father God, we are putting every cares in your hands this morning. And we are putting every burden at your altar. And we are leaving it there in your presence. Because mighty God, you are the 
great I am that I am this morning. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Father, this morning we pray, mighty God, for the leaders of this church. We pray, mighty God, for every department in the church. We pray this morning, mighty God, you will touch each and every one of us individually and collectively this morning, mighty God. And allow us that when we shall leave this place, our hearts will be rejoicing. Father, we bless your name. Father, we pray, Lord God, for our island home, Jamaica. We pray, mighty God, from King's house right to the arms house this morning. Mighty God, you will take a walk. Father God, the things that are happening, Lord, cannot be solved unless we seek the divine presence of the almighty God. So, Father God, I pray this morning, you will touch the leaders of our country. Father, this morning, Lord God, your God can grant knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And so, Lord God, we pray this morning, you will allow them to hear from you. And you will allow them to use the knowledge and the wisdom and the understanding that you have given unto them. So they will lead your people the way you want them to. Father, I commit the rest of the service in your hands. I commit the moderator. I commit the day speaker. And mighty God, I pray you will allow your blessings, mighty God, to flow and to flood under this tent. I pray, mighty God, that when we shall leave here, mighty God, our souls will be blessed. Father God, we pray this morning for the community that we stand this morning, one north and two north. I know some of them are in the hearing of my voice this morning. But mighty God, I pray you will give them receptive hearts to hear your word this morning. And Father God, it's not too late for them because you are a God that can do it. He don't care how far gone you are. And one not and two not, I'm crying out this morning. And I'm saying that Jesus saves and he still saves. Jesus cares and he still cares. And he cares for one not and he cares for two not. So this morning, Lord God, I pray that you will have mercy upon one not and two not. I pray, Lord God, for the rest of the crusade for this week. I pray for your divine intervention. I pray, mighty God, that you will tear down Satan's kingdom and loose, loose the children of God this morning. I pray, mighty God, you will allow him not to have dominion because, God, you are the only God that has the power this morning. And so, Satan, I'm saying to you, you're under my feet this morning. You're under my feet in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And there is nothing that you try this morning that will prevail because we stand on the promises of the Almighty God. Father, hear us today, mighty God. Hear us, mighty God. Grant your people a revival under this tent. Oh, mighty God, let our hearts, Lord, be ready to receive your words. Father, bless us now. Take the rest of the service in charge and direct us according to your almighty will. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen and amen. Have a praise for the Lord, somebody. Glory to God. Have your Bibles. The morning's meditation comes to us from Psalms 150. But I invite us to stand in the house of God as we respect the reading of the word of God want to invite Sister Annette Green to come now, and she will take us through this reading. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 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 Good morning, brethren. This morning, scripture comes to us from Psalms 150. I'll read and you'll follow in your Bible. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. 
Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound on the trumpet. Praise him with the, the psalmery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with the strings, instruments, and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high-sounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise he the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise he the Lord. Here in the person of God's holy word, we honor it by saying, Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. You may, you may be seated. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. My name is Michael Israel. I'll be your moderator for today. God is a good God. God is a good God. I hear the psalmist says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Are you free this morning in God? Have you been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ? Can everybody give God a praise in the house this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is indeed a good God. The psalmist reminds us that we cannot praise God in the grave. And there's no grave here this morning. So I'm expecting everyone under the sound of my voice, under this tent, uh, to be free in your spirit and give God glory and honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Glory be to God. Sister Marlene Maglashan will be coming now to give us a more formal welcome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give her praise as she comes somebody. Clap your hands. As Sister Marlene comes to make us welcome. Glory to God. Good morning all. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord this morning? May I invite you to stand and acknowledge the presence of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords this morning because indeed he is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be worshipped. He is worthy to be adored. Hallelujah. We worship your name. We worship your name, Master. We worship your name. Hallelujah. You are exalted on high. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated. It's really an awesome privilege to be in the house of the Lord another time, to sing his praises and to lift up his name. Hallelujah. I'd like to acknowledge this morning the presence of our pastor, Bishop Errol Rule, and family. Our, our assistant pastor, Reverend Sophia Gordon, and family. I'm also acknowledging the presence of our evangelist, Dwight Peku. Welcome, sir. I'd like also to acknowledge our deacon and our deaconesses and family or elders and family, can you acknowledge them? Our ushers, musicians, technicians, our security personnel, and you, our members, welcome to Brayton this morning. Is there anyone who is visiting with us for the very first time, whether you're here first in the, um, in the, under the tent at our crusade, can you just stand? Welcome, welcome. It was good for you to take the time out to be with us this morning. And if you do not have a church home of your own, we're across the road on Brayton Boulevard. So we invite you to be there um, if you so desire. And also, is there anyone who got saved during our crusade the past week? 
are you here? May I invite you to stand. God bless you, brother. Welcome. You did, you did well. God bless you. I would also like to say thank you to our online congregation. Thank you for making it to Brayton New Testament Church of God. I leave with you Psalm 37. The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. God bless you. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah, church of God. Promise me something this morning. I want to see spontaneous praise in the house of God. What I said, I want to see spontaneous praise in the house of God. We, have been, we are a people that have been liberated by Almighty God. We have been set free by Almighty God. No one has to tell me to give him glory, to give him honor, to lift him up. He's worthy. There's none like unto him. There's no power that can supersede this power. He's God by himself. Glory and honor be to the God of heaven. Glory to God. We'll have a special item at this time by Sister Adoni McLean. Make her welcome my brothers and sisters as she come to minister before the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Good morning, church. Bless the Lord. Indeed, God is a good God. We say somebody, the songwriter said, somebody saw me when I was wandering out in the desert, so laden with sin. And this morning, I just want to remind somebody that Jesus is that person who will see you no matter where you are, no matter how bad you have fallen. He will see you and he will not bring anything to your remembrance. In Jesus name, I want you to listen to the words and let it minister to you. Somebody saw me when I was wandering out in the desert, so laden with sin. Ooh, and somebody held me so close. And he spoke, he spoke to me gently. Yeah, he said, I am he. Lonely, I need a 
to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand with me, church of God. Somebody saw me when I was sinking. Somebody rescued my soul from the grave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, church of God. Glory to God. The Bible encourages us to pray and pray without ceasing. It's prayer time in the house of God. Ask us to remain prayerful at this time as our senior pastor, Bishop Errol Rule, will be coming to take us to the throne of grace. Since I made the pledge, said Savior, since he cleansed and made me God says, he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Jesus instructed us, saying, if you knock, it will be open to you. If you seek, you will find, and if you ask, you will receive. He took it a little further. And he said, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, it will be done. So I ask you to join me today as we believe God for that which only God can do. Let us pray. Our Father, start in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Today again, Lord, we declare that there is indeed no God like Jehovah. We worship a living God, a risen Savior. And we delight ourselves in you today. Lord, we know that our service under this tent this morning would never be the same without the awesomeness of your presence in our midst. And so, blessed Father, we invite you to tabernacle with us today under this gospel tent. We know, God, that when divinity touches humanity, miracles happen. And there are many needs for miracles here today, O oh God. I present those to you that are sick. They are afflicted in one way or the other. Your word tells me that it is by your stripes, hallelujah, that we are healed. And so I ask of you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you will heal the sick on the altar. Heal the sick in the congregation today. Deliver your people from demonic forces. 
from demonic attack. Deliver your children today, O oh God, from physical incapabilities. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the power of the Most High God will flow freely here today and that your people will be delivered by your magnificent power. Intervene, O oh God. Intervene, O oh God. Intervene, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Break every generational curse. That young woman, O oh God, who is troubled today, as she examines her life and see that she's going in the direction of her mother who did not end well. I pray, O oh God, in that, that you will intercept her right now. And that you will turn her life around, O oh God, that her future will be bright. I pray for that young man today who sees himself going in the direction of his father that did not end well. I pray for his deliverance. I pray for his redemption, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And I ask that by the mighty power of God, he will be loosed from generational curse. And that as of this day, O oh God, a new generation would have started, one of righteousness and holiness, one of fear of Almighty God. I pray that you who are our source will minister to the needs, O oh God, of your people today. Let not the enemy say, ha ha, so would I have it. But Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come to you right now. And I ask of you, O oh God, that you will bless some thirtyfold, bless some sixty. And bless some a hundredfold. I bind every human palm worm. I bind every human caterpillar. I bind, oh God, everything that would attack and destroy your children in the name of Jesus Christ. And oh God, I ask in the name of Jesus that you will help the righteous. Let the word of God be fulfilled in the life of the righteous today. I pray that the righteous, O oh God, will be like trees that are planted by the rivers of water that bring it forth its fruit in its season. Help, O oh God Almighty. Help, O oh God Almighty. Help, O oh God Almighty, that the righteous will be like trees planted by the rivers of water that bring it forth its fruit in its season. Help, mighty God, help that whatsoever we do, we will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I ask, oh God, that you will now enlarge our borders, enlarge our borders, open up our capacities for blessing, oh God. Ah, oh, help us to be receptive. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory, hallelujah. Jesus. Somebody who is yearning and longing to be baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire. With the evidence of speaking with other tongues as the Spirit gives utterance. I pray that you will walk in, King Jesus. Send the Holy Ghost like you did on the day of Pentecost. Let the fire of God burn out every dross. Let the Spirit of the living God cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We pray that the fire of God will descend on us today. Like on the day of Pentecost, we will feel the burning tongue of fire. And we will hear the sound like as of a rushing mighty wind. Not passing through God, but tabernacling with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Strengthen that brother who has grown weary. Strengthen that sister who has grown weary. And 
I pray that you will lift them up by your awesome power in the name of Jesus. Restore the backslider to fellowship with God and man in the name of Jesus Christ. Speak to our hearts today through your servant, evangelist Dwight Peku. Lord, if you give him the word, I know he will deliver it. And I believe you have given him the word, oh God, and he's going to deliver it. I pray that the convicting power of the Holy Ghost, oh God, will be strong here today. And that we will cry out, I surrender, I surrender. All to Jesus, I surrender. I will ever love and trust him. And in his presence, daily live. Move, Spirit of the living God. Move from bench to bench. Move from person to person. Do what you have done many times before. Sanctify, cleanse, and fill, and save, and uplift, and bless. In the name of Jesus. I would, oh God, that you would lead us into green pastures besides still waters, and you will refresh our souls to the glory of your name. For our request in this box, I have no knowledge of what is written there. You are the all-knowing God. You are the miracle work in wonder. And so I pray that according to your will, the needs of your people will be ministered today. And we will hear the testimony of the intervention of our God. Bless, sanctify, and consecrate these bottles of olive oil. And may the power of Almighty God be experienced in a marked way. Each time that it is used to the glory of God. Lord, we're going to be worshiping you with our tithes and our offering. And in recognition of the fact that you are our source, we are going to bless your name. And as we bless you, God, we pray that in return, you will minister heaven's richest blessings to us. So we ask that you will bless, sanctify, and consecrate the tithes and the offerings. To the honor and the glory of your name. And we all say, Amen. And Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise team, can you lead us in giving? Glory to God. Ushers. Glory to God. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In the newfound way, the gospel I way, leading to the home eternal. I walk and talk with the master every day. When the storm beside he saved to guide me, what the blessed flow is eternal. I walk and talk in the new Jerusalem way. Praise Him, I am happy walking in the garden. 
time so I won't give my testimony but you will hear it. God is a good God. Amen. God is a good God. Amen somebody. Glory to God. Glory to God. To my right is a group of redeemed people. A people that have been set free by the blood of Jesus Christ. A people that are on a mission for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We call them the Brayton New Testament Church of God Mass Choir. Want to be inviting them at this time to come and to minister to us in the name of Jesus Christ. The next voice you'll be hearing, my brothers and sisters, is the voice of our senior pastor, the Bishop Errol Rule. And he will be introducing the morning speaker. Give God a praise, somebody, as the choir put themselves together. Hallelujah. Only a look at Jesus. Oh, souls bow down with care.
praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Thank you for singing so beautifully for us. I'll put you in front, in front of my melody. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I'll make room for two. everything that I have breath. Praise the Lord. Everything that I have breath is required. Praise the Lord. And I've often said that the people that know their God will worship him. If you don't know the God I'm talking about, it's going to be very difficult for you to give him any worship whatsoever. But if you have experienced the God of the heaven and the earth, the creator of this universe, then you're going to praise him. A people that know their God will praise him. A people that know their God will praise him. Psalm 150 says in verse 6, let everything and our breath praise the Lord. A people that know their God will praise Him. Lord Jesus, help my soul this morning. for a minute. I'd like to use the opportunity to greet today's moderator. Thank you, Brother Israel, for leading out for us today in such a wonderful way. I greet my associate, Reverend Gordon, and I greet her family as well. And I'm so very delighted to have Evangelist Teku in our midst again. I greet the other ministers in the house and those in the reach of my voice in the precious name of Jesus Christ. And I greet all of you that are working today, whatever assignment you have, I greet you well in the name of Jesus Christ. I greet you, my brothers and sisters, and we are so happy that you are here today to worship the Lord. Very delighted to have my wife, Joan Ruhl, in the house. Nothing would prevent her from being here today. And we are very happy to have you. I thank God for those of you who are visiting with us. We are happy that you have chosen to worship with us today. And we know that there are many other places that you could have chosen to be today. But you have chosen to be with us and we esteem it um, highly. Then I also want to give very special thanks to those who have committed their lives to the Lord. 
And I want to tell you that Friday night, the Lord's willing, will be your water baptism. Would you stand with me at this moment? What a wonderful week we had last week as the evangelists ministered under the anointing of the Spirit of Almighty God. Evangelist Dwight Peku is back in the house with us this morning. And I want you to put your hands together, worship the Lord, and make him welcome to the podium. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. Bless God. Let the Lord have his way in our lives every day. There's no peace, there's no joy, until the Lord has his way. Oh, place your life in God's hand. He's secure all your plans. Let the Lord. chapter 16 while you're looking for it I greet Bishop Rule Reverend Rule Reverend Gordon family I greet the moderator I greet all the ministers that are here I greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus it's good to be back under the tent to worship the Lord with you my brothers and sisters don't think that yesterday I rest. I did have a wedding to MC yesterday, so I was out. Maybe tomorrow. But <laughs> I, I'm pretty fine. Let me tell you. I'll tell you that. I'm pretty fine. Let me tell you. The Lord knows how to stretch me. Yes, I do. In the name of the Lord. St. Matthew chapter 16, verses 13 to 19. It said, when Jesus came into the course of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjo, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. Verse 18. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give, you, give thee unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, Whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. And we say amen to the word of the Lord. You may be seated, my brothers and sisters. I just want to say publicly that thank you, Brayton. Thank you, Bishop and your boy. I think it's good to invite me to minister last week and to minister today. I really appreciate it. And God bless you very much. I know it can be difficult in, in meeting when teachers to come for greetings. Thanks everybody at the church. 
भूल हो जाए कुछ भी तो फायदा ही बात है बस जल के उठो कहते हैं चलो उठिए यही मामला बात बस थैंक यू फॉर for all the hundreds and thousands of these people who donate us with this day in that i appreciate it thank you i want to talk to you today brothers and sisters from the subject or the thought god's church god's church to the neighbor neighbor this is god's church It is said that whenever one desire to build it is of great importance for that individual to have a plan For those of you that do construction work or you know a little about construction you know that the foundation is very important of any building very vital of any building if the foundation is not good and you put up a building on a foundation that is not solid the building never will collapse so that is why if you're going to build you have to send your plan to the parish council and they will do what they have to do and give a certain instruction and you have to follow it although some people not do but you need to follow it and uh, the building that you put up if the foundation is right and solid it can endure for years and years and years jesus who is the greatest builder came to earth with a divine plan he came with a plan already prepared my brothers and sisters he came with a plan for the kind of church he needed so he sacrificed his life for the church follow me on the journey from the passage that was read we see jesus having a conversation with his disciples Jesus came to earth with a prepared plan so you and I have no need to interfere with the plan that Jesus already prepared hello somebody all we have to do is just execute the plan amen somebody although we may not some of us may not like how the church operate our whole the church situated but if it's God plan he's off and allow the plan to work so Jesus was having this conversation with his disciples brothers and sisters as he continued to reveal more of, of, of whom he is and what he came to do Jesus inquired what the opinion of others were concerning him in verse 13 he said who do men say that i the son of man am brothers and sisters what they are saying about me what man has said about me he inquire about them brothers and sisters but jesus then inquire what their personal thoughts were concerning him he asked firstly what the man what men saying about him then he asked his disciples brothers and sister what is your personal thought about me this morning i stopped by to ask a question do you know the man called jesus think about it church we we say yes because we are saved so we know him but i'm going to say something this morning i can i can be very controversial and you know that by now brothers and sisters there are some of us who profess christianity that preach about jesus that testify about him that pray to him that read his word brothers and sisters but we don't know the man as no 
Watch this in Peku. We talk about him, we preach about him, we testify about him, we pray to him, we read his word, but do you really know him? Why do you say that, Peku? Brothers and sisters, when I observe and I look, brothers and sisters, the people that know their God, God serve him right. Mm -hmm. The people that know their God, brothers and sisters, who they serve him, brothers and sisters, nothing shake them, nothing move them from God because they know who they serve him. Watch this. Some years ago, in world news, we watched the television. We see somewhere in the Middle East, there was a country, I was trying to remember, brothers and sisters, that worshipped Muhammad. You see? And somehow, the prime minister of that country came out and said something against the dead God. Hello, somebody. Those people demonstrate black road, but don't believe because they said the prime minister had distant God. Then dead God. That's how serious those folks take them dead God. We that is serving a living God. We will stand in a crowd or a group and hear them at this week God and we zip up with mouth. We don't say nothing because we don't want to be controversial. And we don't want to be identified with the God that we serve. Hello, brothers and sisters. It's only when we come to church, we say, yes, Lord, I love you. But I start this morning, brothers and sisters, for us to examine. Jesus is inquiring, what is your personal thought concerning him? Church. Peter answer, brothers and sisters, and say, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. You are God Almighty. How many of us this morning know the son of the living God? He's all powerful. He's almighty. He is great. He is powerful. He's awesome. He's lovely. He's altogether great, brothers and sisters. Somebody lift up your hand, open your mouth, and give the King of Kings praise. So we want to declare this morning that everybody ought to know who Jesus is. He's the lily of the valley. He's a bright morning star. He's the fierce of 10,000 to our soul. Oh, somebody give him praise. Hallelujah to God. Jesus told Peter, when Peter said that, Jesus told Peter, you are blessed because of this heavenly decrement. For flesh and blood, Peter. Can't reveal this to you, no boy. This, this is to, but brothers and sisters, flesh and blood could not, but it's the spirit of the living God. Have you ever been there when the spirit does not speak to you? So, you of your flesh and your blood, we of our flesh and blood, many things we can't discern and can't know. Brothers and sisters, we have to go in at the deep spirit of Almighty God. Brothers and sisters, where God reveal things to us in the spirit in the name of the Lord. Am I talking to real people this morning? Because some things in church, we just can't take the natural eyes and, and see brothers and sisters. And just discern brothers. We have to get deep in the spirit. And God revealed things to us in the name of Jesus. Sometimes when he revealed to us, we have to ask God, God, then I read the spirit of Jesus. God, my praise be known. God, just ease up, ease up, God, ease up. Come here, see too much, you know. Revelation, too much. So Jesus said to Peter, on a flesh and blood, this boy, this is the spirit of the living God. Amen, somebody. In response to Peter's confession of who Christ was and still is, Jesus gave him three promises concerning the church. And we look at them quickly. Because if you come back early tonight, you have to come back early tonight. Jesus 
Number one, Jesus promised a church built by himself. Mm -hmm. Say that again. Jesus promised a church built by himself. In verse 18, he said, I tell you that you are beaten upon this rock. I build my church. I don't build Peku church. Or God church. Or rule church. But upon this rock, upon this Petro, the Greek word, I build my church and the gates of hell. Hallelujah. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, of God's church. Tell them, I'm God's church. I tell people all the world, don't fret about the church. Hello, somebody. God knows what he's doing. And anytime God ready to move, or move on some people, move on some people, they move. It's God's church. Upon this rock, I build my church. So don't get too discouraged. And don't get too frustrated. Hello, somebody. A God's church, and you know when we fix it. And when we make things move where it's supposed to move. I mean, somebody. So if it's Peku in the way, when God is ready for move, Peku in the way, move, boy. Come on, tell me, I'm my church. Hello, somebody. Yes, he put lead us to lead the church, brothers and sisters. Yes, my brothers and sisters. I'm not. Please don't leave here and say that Peku, they say that. Bishop Wood is not the leader of the church in Britain. Me never say that in Jesus' name. Let me make that clear because some people like to fix things their way. Hello, somebody. And leave every can start this up the leader and whatever. Now that me say. <laughs> Hello, somebody. What am I saying? You see, I'm saying that, brothers and sisters, it's God's church. So God set up leaders, has put leaders in place, brothers and sisters, to carry on his work in the, in, in the church, brothers and sisters. But if those leaders that God placed there, he's not doing what he says should do. When God ready, God will just move him. You know what I mean, brother? Hello, somebody. When I was most younger in the church, I usually wore myself and take the church and put my head. I ah, broke neck and crick neck, brothers and sisters. No, I'm not with that. I said, God, I feel your church. You do, when you're ready to move, God, do what you want to do. I take it, put down. Let me go on my bed, me sleep. But then I couldn't sleep, me dead there. I twist and turn. I said, Lord Jesus, this is going to the church. And the church, my brothers and sisters, me go on my bed, me pray. Me say, Lord, fix it, Jesus. I feel your church. If you never permit that thing happen, it couldn't happen. So God, then you know set up, my God. So God, when you're ready for deal with it, deal with it. I want them to church again. Hello, somebody. Because some of you stretch over, stress over church, you know. Yeah, man, you stretch here and say, why not so great than you, Jelly B? You know it, leave it. When God gets ready. And when God intervened, sometimes you marvel you too. Can you never expect God to intervene the time he intervened? It is God church upon this rock of build my church. Jesus saw the need to build his church for himself. Jesus, brothers and sisters, did not build the church upon Peter. Some people keep on to say that the church beat upon ignorant Peter. Hello, somebody. You check the God of idiot. Not a sense. We're going to build in church of our mankind. And you know mankind of failure. Brothers and sisters. He can go up the church and say whatever. He just said upon this rock I build. Underline the word. My church of ownership is his. It belongs to him. Hello. You're quiet this morning. A Sunday morning. I know that. You see. So he saw the need to build his church for himself, brothers and sisters. Some say Peter is the rock upon which the church was built. Foolishness, nonsense. Hello? If the church is built upon Peter, the church is a mash of long time. Don't um, vanish long time. Hello, somebody. Uh, Peter was one of those ignorant boys. You know. <laughs> Rough neck. He cut out some of these brothers and sisters. So, because Peter, church, when they give up lectures, Peter does take and just 
Dear three that you as, as a queen, brothers and sisters, the, the church is built upon Jesus. The one right to say, This is the this this rock is Jesus. Yes, he is the one, brothers and sisters. I'm building upon the solid rock, which is Jesus. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, the church can't mash up. God, the church is built upon Jesus. And when we get that, you know, that said the church can't mash up. Never mash up. Never stop the church. Because the leader, the general leader of the church is Jesus. And you can't get rid of Jesus. So you can mash up in church. You know somebody? Although some people go and hold up the church like the church of them. Yeah. So if them not get certain order, certain things can't do at church. Mm-hmm. They get quiet now. So then wrap up the officer board. Cause them have influence. And then wrap up, wrap up the pastor. Cause them have influence. Cause when them talk, no dog bark. <laughs> say, Lord, if you can't say even if your dog say ouch. No, but it's true. You see, um, so once they have the pastor in their palm, in their hand, they feel that all with them wrong, them right. And the pastor dare not say they wrong. Because if you say they wrong, a bang around in our church. Me tell them all the while, nobody no control me but Jesus. Because you can't buy me out. Because when God give me a way to preach, you could preach, you could, you, 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 you could, you could have feed me and clothes me and mind me. When God give me room, I could lick it. I know somebody. Food or no food, clothes or no clothes. I got lick it in the name of the Lord. It's God church. Isn't it unfair? I know that I have great influence in the church. And me know me wrong. Me know within myself say me wrong, you know. Me know, me don't want nobody to tell me. Me know me wrong. But because I have such influence over the church, I'm clubbed. You see, I use it, I flaunt it. I know somebody to get a lot, get through. Right? Well, anything go for the goose, it go for the gander. If you're wrong, you and if you're right, in the name of God, church. So I call upon you, brothers and sisters, let go the church and make the church roll on. There is no doubt that Jesus is the one foundation of the church. In 1 Corinthians 3 verse 11 it said, No one can lay any foundation that the one already lay, which is Jesus. Any other foundation lay that I know of God. Because the foundation already lay by him. You just built for when he put up there. You know somebody? So, me have a, tend- me have a problem with, let me hear people say, my ministry. <laughs> yeah, me have a problem. You may not, you know, but I have a problem. Because it can become so cultish. Yeah, it can become very cultish. My ministry. God give you the ministry. Yes. But where I see it go sometime is that if my ministry not ministering none else can go on in our church because of my ministry. It's wrong. Hello? God call all of us and give us, give all of us talent. All of us are talent. Your talent might be sing, preach, pray, dance, you name it. Hello, somebody. If you clean the church, yes, yeah. That's the first one. Long the preacher. Yeah. 
Because when you clean the church, you clean it with everything inside of you. And you clean it and worship and praise the God. Not looking for anybody to dig you up or to promote you. You do it unto God. Hello, somebody. I watch the hushers each night. Oh, them husher, brothers and sister. The husher. Each night, brothers and sisters. And I said, yes, man. People must serve in the kingdom of God and serve from the heart and give everything unto God. Not for bishop or pastor to slay man to say, yes, man. Because anytime we get the sign up, we only do it when bishop present. Because we want bishop to say, yes, man. Take who and go on. Let me call my name because I don't want to know no, 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 You see? Take who and go on. Because bishop has said, take who. But the moment bishop is about, when officer that talk to you, sister, I'm tired. Sister, I'm tired. But the moment Bishop come and talk. Yes, Bishop. Yes, Bishop. Because I want to impress Bishop. I want in a Bishop good book. Wrong spirit, that man. Hello, somebody. I tell him all the while in church. Me can't do everything at church. So if you check, say, you have a sabotage me. You make a sad mistake. Because if we are fine to do whatever, me see you go on and go on and whatever. Me take pass and go do it. Me. Me take pass and go do it. Me clean church, you know. Me clean church, me boy. Me alone clean the church. Hello? <laughs> you, you look for me, it's strange. Hello, somebody. You go to church one Sunday morning. And someone who to clean, then they turn up to clean and the church, whatever. You step in a church, so the school start. I just step in, you know, and I just pull on, pull on my, my, my thing, you know. And I say, Ella, Ella, I'm get up. I'm not going to stand at the church, but I'm going to teach the school, whatever. Are, if you know one join in, I'm join in, but I clean, I'm going to clean. Hello. It's one of the best things I've ever done. You see, and I do it and give God praise and glory, brothers and sisters. You see, brothers and sisters, you back off the jacket and we going to clean. Hello, somebody. But, brothers and sisters, we must serve and serve God. Unto God. You see, so I lay no more foundation. The foundation already lay. Built upon what Jesus put on there. You see, secondly, Jesus promised a church with a strong security. He said that the gates of hell cannot, will not prevail or overcome the church. Jesus knows that the church of enemies that will fight against her and endeavor, brothers and sisters, to see the church go under. But in the name of Jesus, but the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. Our security minister is Jesus Christ. And you can't be the security system, which is Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, so you cannot overthrow the church. Listen up. And walk with me on a 30 second or one minute journey. The church is secure in Jesus. I want to say that again. The church is secure in Jesus. Okay? So he promised a church with a strong security system. The gates of hell cannot prevail against the church. But watch the church of God. The church of enemy within and without. Mm -hmm. Say that again, Peku. The church of enemy within and without. Those that are within are more dangerous than those that are without. Take your time, Peku. Why you say that, Peku? Those that are within are worship with me. I praise God with me. I glorify God with me. 
I clap hand with me. I shout with me. I dance with me. I magnify God with me. I preach with me. And they are not for us. Those enemies are dangerous and vicious. Because when you think they are on your side, they are not. They are undercover agent, a fight at work to try to overthrow the church, brothers and sisters. And I always said in the church, church business must stay in a church, not take it out a door. Hello? You see, so touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, whose side are you on this morning? The church side or the devil side? Mm-hmm. You better ask them. Because it is sad to say, but it's a strong reality, re reality brothers and sisters, that there are some persons within the church that fight silently against the church. It's a reality, man. They are telling the truth. Until you find out one day, you say, Jesus, my God. How that? Because they come like angels. Hello, somebody? And they secretly fight against the pastor, fight against the officer board, fight against everything, brothers and sisters, and they make sure they show up a heavy function, you know, because it, you said they are supported, but honestly, undercover, they want to mash up. That's why me, personally, don't take every shake and as a shaker. Me, personally, don't take a laugh as a laugh. All of us are. Me personally don't take a hug, brothers and sisters, as just a hug, brothers and sisters. I read between everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let it digest. Don't think that everybody that comes to tent meeting be in the tent meeting well. No. They come to see if rule like a succeed. No, this is fake. That's a rule. They come, yeah, man. Some people come to say, hey, now nah, keep in a church, you know, care out just now. Come and see. You know, I'm gonna succeed. You see? Because all we are telling is a, a church. You know? And some people may never want to attend, come here, so they want to go somewhere else. And because and the, the board say, ah, yes, I to come. You know, say, well, I'm gonna go, you know, but you know, you know, you know it too much. Yeah, man. Yes, man. Preach, Peku, preach. Yeah. It's the name of the Lord. But brothers and sisters, the gates of hell can't prevail against the church. The gates of hell cannot triumph over the church. The gates of hell cannot have the victory over the church. The gates of hell represent Satan and all the world evil striving to destroy the church raid and overthrow her brothers and sisters. But let them try all they want. They cannot beat this security system set up by our security minister who is Jesus Christ. So let the forces come. You can't beat this security system. It's built by Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, upon this rock I built my church and the gates of hell cannot prevent no liar gate, no thief in gate, no demon in gate, no gate at all cannot prevail against the church because the church is still alive and well. Many tried to destroy the church before, but then they're gone. God kill them, kill it, get rid of it. Hello? The church triumphant is alive and well. You know that church song? Yeah, man. The church triumphant is alive and well. Somebody show that. The church triumphant is alive and well this morning. Lift up your hand and shout a praise. For 
the church triumphant is alive and well for the church triumphant hallelujah is alive and well and well let the church church oh let the people people rejoice oh for it's set to the question oh and a bit of joy oh let the anthem yes spring out yes sounds of Church, be the church. Oh, let the people rejoice. For it settled the question. Oh, and a bit of joy. Let the answer be. Somebody say, sounds of peace. So respect. The church triumphant, yes, sir, he's alive and well. Say this, hey, bullshit, yes, has been true. Many, many, many battles before, yes, dog, oh, and tempest, oh, and rocks on the shore. Yes, inside, inside, he's safe and somebody say, he will carry his cargo to the poor in the, come on and declare it, say, let the church, the church, to be the church, yeah, let the people Settle the question, oh, and a big, oh, joy, let the answer ring out, sounds the beat, so we swear. Yes, sir, yes, sir. For the church. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Triumph. He's alive and well. Yes. For the church. Greater, greater. For He's alive. You can't kill the church. Jesus. Tell the, tell the neighbor, neighbor, the church is alive and well. 
God's church is alive and well. God's church is alive and well. Somebody show the praise for the church. Woo! Triumphant. He's Many back of the church go to. Many back of the church face. But for the church. Oh, triumph is a Somebody shout a praise. I feel God. I feel God. Yes! I feel God. Somebody we have your hand and love me, man. church but the church is alive and well the church did not move on the church did not move on the church did not have the power the church did not have the authority somebody praise him I said it now. This old ship has been through battles before. Storm and tempest and rocks on the shore. Though the heart may be battered. Inside, he saved and tried. It will carry, carry his cargo to the port in the sky. Lift your hands and sing now. Let the church, the church, be the church, the church. Let the people rejoice. It's a good. Neighbor, say neighbor, Britain Church can dead. Come on, tell them, Britain Church can dead. Will never die. I find somebody and tell them that Britain Church can dead. In the name of Jesus, God is security minister for the church. It's Jesus Christ. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. The enemy can't see him. The enemy don't know him. But the security minion says, dear, watching over the church. So let the storm rage out. 
they won't worry me. Because we are sheltered safely in the arms of Almighty God. I want to say something to you. Many years ago, when the Honorable K.D. Knight was the Minister of National Security, he was downtown, one of those rise of state buildings. And an earthquake came, and the security team was around him. You know, that they have this security team. And when the earthquake came, the security team around him run leave him. And he was left alone because they might take cover. With our security minister, Jesus Christ. Any earthquake, any storm, any tsunami come, he's right there to protect us. Never leave us, nor forsake us. He said, Lord, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Stop yourself and tell yourself, I'm secure in Jesus Christ. No weapon farm against me. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon farm against me. And I try them try, but no weapon farm against me. Can't prosper because I'm secure in Jesus. Somebody help me up inside your feet, Jesus. I mean somebody. Touch yourself and say, neighbor, I'm secure in Jesus, man. They can't harm you. They can't touch you. Because Jesus is your defender. Jesus is your protector. Jesus is your guide. So I declare this morning, every tongue that rises up against you, I condemn it. In the name of the Lord. I say it again. Every tongue that rises up against you, we we'll condemn it this morning in the name of the Lord. For you shall rise. You shall go forward in the name of the Lord. Because you are God's child. Look somebody in the face as a neighbor. Mr. Then can't stop Britain Church. The naysayers can't stop the Britain church. Hello, somebody. The platters can't stop Britain church. In the name of the Lord. Amen, somebody. The church not going under. The church is going all over. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Bishop. They can't stop, can't stop purpose, and they can't stop you. The name of the Lord. So all who, all who want your transfer from Britain, time not coming. Yeah, man. I can lick you now. Hello. God knows what He's doing. I mean, not, I mean, not get myself entangled in a God. This is a church politics. Me not get myself. Entangled in a church policy. Me say, Father, I me tell them all about that church. Me say, anytime you come up, me say, excuse me. Me not in your pot pot. Me not get in a. Hello? Because you now call Peku name. Say, Peku, this is. And then me be the subject of everything now because, that, you see, because some of us name me easily call in a church, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah. Some of us near easy to call in the church, you know. Ah, we don't know nothing about we are God. Because you have some you have some PhD liars in the church, you know. They have then doctorate in lying. Hello, something. What's the church? You know? Preach, Peko, preach. If you can't say hear me now, say ouch. Hello, somebody. You have some people in the church and then PhD in lying. Gentile tell life on you. 
Everybody believe. It only takes Jesus for not believe the lie. What are you talking about? Because when they fix it, you know, Israel, when they fix it, well, fix it, you know, no who, no he, it is straight like a harrow. I know somebody. And before you not believe some of them, them ball. If you take, you take your life, you tell. You say, ah, so and so and then I and them come, your friend, your confident friend, come, come join in. So, yeah, it's true, shut up. I'm going to say something more now. Bishop, <laughs> you know, I always question some of us that say we have the Holy Ghost and brothers and sisters. When the people them are tell the lie, the Holy Ghost don't show you. It's your life. But because you want to hear something bad about the person a long time, you just want to run with it, and you just run with it, and you just run with it, and you just run, and you just stop and say, no, man. God not give us Holy Ghost alone if you have rebuke demon out of church. Mm -hmm. Preach, peck, or preach. Eat and no. Because some of us some of you in the church is one spirit you have and a demon spirit will rebuke demon. Hello? You have your PhD in demonology. You have ghostbuster. How when God drop in our church, the spirit of God drop in our church, you rebuke the spirit of God out of church. Because of and the person beside you are dead. And God not show you the Holy Ghost, not show you. Brothers and sisters, there's something not right. Bishop, that's the type of church we grew up in. Uh. When the church, when somebody in the church, God reveal brothers and sisters, and, pe and people go help brothers and sisters. Nowadays, Lord Jesus Christ, the person are dead. And nobody see. I tell you something. There was a particular sister in a particular church, not our denomination. Let me get that clear. Because someone will not really do that investigation. <laughs> and Bishop in the church, the married, and some of married never work out. And the divorce. It was terrible. And she left. Man went away, she went away. But God moved her from a particular country parish in Jamaica. And she go to a next parish. Far away. And God, she find a next man. Oh, sorry, she married. Let me hear look. Brothers and sisters, let me keep full of this. Her words can be very <laughs> deceiving. And she married and was going on. But things take a next turn. For the worse. She decided that she got to kill the man. And kill herself. They go to bed. The night. She have the knife under the pillow where she lay down. Because she had a murder him. God revealed to her sister when I know them. No, no, them. Hello, somebody. God gave the sister the address, the phone number, her phone number. She left. The sister called her the night, the very same night, but she had time for nothing. The sister said, God said to tell you not commit the murder. She hung up the phone. Hello, somebody. She said, call back and she said, she said God said to tell you, no commit the murder. This sister leave her house and find the house. She not get a direction. Come back, give her the direction. Find the house. Go in. Go into bedroom. Husband lay down there. Cause he fix everything all right. But when he ain't ready for dead, he don't ready for dead. Alarm to the slaughter. But when the sister went in the bedroom and she reached under the pillar and take out the knife, she said, yes, she said, yes, I plan to kill him tonight. For truth. And kill myself. But God lift up her sister nowhere from nowhere. Let her know them. Send her there 
to rescue. That's the church me know, you know. That's the church me know. That's the church me know, you know. Hello, somebody. When people see you in a 10 inches wall. Hello, sir. And reveal, brothers and sisters. But what has become of the church? And listen to me now. I'm going to say this and listen to it carefully. Some of us who are saying what has become of the church, we deceived in the church a long time and we still there. What become of you? Mm-hmm. We still there. You know? We still there. What become of us? We allow, we keep on the same church to young people what the church was. And what the church is here. Young people have the, no experience of that. The young people need to experience the move and power of God again in the church. That they understand what is the church? Who is the church? You get a man testify about when I used to. I don't have a problem, but don't, don't the young people really have an experience. Or experience the manifestation of the power of God in the church. You don't got to tell them what you saw. Yeah. And then we play the blame game. A pastor with they said, come here. And he half his abode. And well, and well. And the blame game does a cancel. And we're still there. A pastor, they give you Holy Ghost. A pastor, they give you anointing. Eh? So, pastor, we take it there. Check yourself first. Hello, somebody. Pastor, don't have me shout. Pastor, don't have me pray. Pastor, don't have me, allu- me hallelujah. Pastor, don't have me anointing. Pastor, have me one anointing and me have me own. Hello? So, don't mess with me again. <laughs> you see? That is true. Brothers and sisters, the church need to wake up again. In the name of the Lord. Amen, somebody. Listen, we are told in study, if you want a pastor to move from your church, pray and work with him. Can I see more work up for me and say, all right, I need to go. Now, brother, if I can see. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. I bet I need that boy there something. I'd like me to. In the name of the Lord. But finally and finally. <laughs> I say it again. If you want Pastor Boo from church, I mean, Pastor Reverend Bishop Boo. But it is said that. You see, as for me, if you fight me, I'm the most strength you give me. If you fight me or oppose me, I'm the most strength you give me. Because me. Cannot be defeated because you're gonna get it, you know, your kid. So, if you won't get rid of me, walk with me. My sister, whatever. You see, but once we pick up the slight thing that you oppose me and fight me, me, I stand up like the wall of Gibraltar. Because no enemy must triumph over me. Me must triumph over the enemy. You yeah, hear me? We may live in St. Andrew, Kingston. You have a particular minister live next door. The houses are not near like Hope. You see? In certain places of Hope, you said so. And if you're over your house, I pray. And all the while, you can pray the silent prayer. Like someone who knows. Every, every year, he hear what a silent prayer may pray. Nobody, not even your husband, beside me, not the bed, can hear him. Can you depend on a whisper? <laughs> yeah, man. Because, y- y- you know, when y- you buy mattress, I, 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 I buy, and this plastic, you pan here, and you don't take it off, and return, you turn, you turn, you turn. I saw your soul. Husband, now you hear calling me to Jesus. I said, save him, Lord, I have to go. Sometimes you have to pray aloud. 
And sometimes when you feed God, you know, you sanctify his soul. You ball out a hallelujah. And if me over my yard, I pray in my bedroom. I may feed God in my soul and my ball out. She call over there. Me a disturb her. Christian, you know? Every time she call me, turn my mouth through the window and pray over there. Love me. Love me. Watch it. If you over there play gospel, me not talk Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost cow foot, but then some need to me here nowadays. Me not know what, what the, the foolishness of that. So me not read the thing there. Hello? And if you over there play gospel, she called me to disturb me there. You know, turn up into me now. You, you know. Hear me. Anytime she did that, me turn it up loud. Feel me. Let me make sure. Make sure you find one song. You got to move. You got to move. You got to move. Hold it. You may be rich. You may be high. Virgin, when she can't take it no more, she invite me to her church to preach. <laughs> and her church is the holy quietness. Like, like a, someone who wants to turn great and in a holy quietness church. Yeah. And when we look in at my diary, my sister may have an appointment for that Sunday morning. So I call my brother, my big brother, and send him to the diary appointment. I mean, I miss fear. I want to love my money. I call them at the church to do and tell them that I can't make it. I, you know, emergency. I call it an emergency. Send Winston to the next appointment. And me go on. When I step in the church Sunday morning, sure, you know them. I look nice, proper. See, this mic is extremely loud for them. They escort me from the platform. Me do as the Roman do. Me come down and me sit, me sit down. And me play. Holy quiet. Me not disturb people in service. When my time to preach, don't introduce me. She introduced me. Me go up and me greet. Very nice. Proper. You know me? Nice. Yeah. Brown up my mouth. And thing. Cause. Sophisticated, the only for sophisticated people in that church. Yeah. And me look a Pentecostal boy with no other sense. Come there, so me have to go there. While I was ministering the word, and the Holy Pulpit, I mean, I move from the pulpit, I minister there. Because me know one of them break in protocol. Virgin. So while I was there ministering the word, me here behind me, hallelujah. <laughs> one loud one, you know, so me. Then me a preach. Then me want bigger hallelujah. Me turn around and say, Pastor, you all right? Come and come here. Did you say at uh, the same time? So, Virgin, I watch God moving at the church Sunday morning. They never believe in speaking in tongues. God filled five persons in a church this Sunday morning. I speak in tongues. And I, I, I preach. I me just cut it. Come me say, me cut it. Then say, preacher, you're done already. Me say, yes, if I give him everything one time, I don't want to invite me back. <laughs> cut it. You say, after that, she invited me to be guest speaker at her national convention. Her national overseer coming up to Jamaica. And I'm me a guest speaker. Yes, I yes, Peku. A bus on shot in there. Holy Ghost shot. Under the Holy Ghost. Yeah. I mean, somebody. If the enemy can't beat you, they must be trying you. And don't give in to the enemy because you're a child of God. You tell me, Mr. Asylum fighter. Jesus started, Jesus promised a church with authority. Slap your neighbor, say, neighbor, you have authority. Verse 19 says, I will give you the key of the kingdom of heaven. 
And whatsoever you bind on earth is bound. And whatever you lose on earth is loose in heaven. Amen, somebody. And give you the key. The key represents God. Brothers and sisters, authority to Peter and the church. With this authority, the church must rebuke sin and unrighteousness. In the name of Jesus, we must declare in the nation that righteousness exalted the nation. But sin is a reproach to any man. The word authority comes from the Greek word which means power and authority. Hello, somebody. Stop your neighbor and say, neighbor, you have power and authority. The church have the power to heal. The church still have the power to deliver. The church still have the power to set free. The church still have the power to conquer. My brothers and sisters, in the name of the Lord, lift your hands and give him praise, everybody. So in closing, the church still belongs to Jesus. The church still has the security system. The church still has power and authority. We must move in them. We must operate in them. And brothers and sisters, they belong to us. In the name of the Lord. I want everybody to take out a key. If you don't have any key, take out something, a pen or something, or anything that you have as an indication, as a key, as you stand with it, because I close it here. As you stand with it, as I close here, in the name of the Lord. The church still has the authority and the power. Don't make nobody fool you. Stand with me, everybody. Stand as you hold your key, or anything that you have that signify a key. In the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Yes. Some people not get up yet. Raise them up, Jesus. Raise them up. Or they just stick. I write peace today to do. Hallelujah. You have your key? Yeah, man. We are gonna lock some something. Some, sorry. We are gonna lock some something. And we are gonna open up some things today. Because Jesus said, I've given you the key. And whatsoever you bind here, bone up there. And whatever you lose here, lose up ahead. In the name of the Lord. So some stronghold, we have plagued the community. We have to lock them up and show away the key. In the name of the Lord. Amen, somebody. I don't want you to take this lightly, you know, because sometimes preachers tell us to do things that we just stretch up because we have no faith and we don't believe in the word that the Lord say, so we don't participate. And many times we leave church not being delivered because of disobedience. And that, that's the, one of the first sin. No matter how anointed you are, and are speaking tongues from your soul, left, right, and center. And all of that. If you're a disobedient person, God now hear you. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. You have to get that straight and get it right. In the stand up, young lady, stand up. Yeah. Children, stand up with me. Stand up, children, stand up. In the name of the Lord. We are going to push our key. You know, when you are going to your house, you push your key. Or your car. Hello? Well, some a press button for the car. Yes, but for those of us who don't reach the press button yet, we are pushing the key. In the name of the Lord. Can we press button and come to? In Jesus' name. <laughs> Boy, you're not easy, you know. Push your key in your door. You're going to lose your blessing. Lose your deliverance. Lose your breakthrough. Lose everything that needs to be loose. This morning in the name of Jesus. Amen, somebody. So push the key in. Woo! By faith. Turn it 
in the name of you. I'll give you the key. I'll give you the key, said Jesus. As you turn it, open your door. Walk in your blessings. Step out of your seat and walk in there because the devil lose again. Step in. Step in. Step in. Jesus, claim it and receive it. Receive it in the name of the Lord. Glory. 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 Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, warrior, 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 I am a warrior, yeah, Christian warrior, oh, with me weapon, in a mirror, I am a warrior.
living in the presence of God this morning. You may be here. You're not saved. You need to be a part of the church where you have that authority and power to. In the name of Jesus. If you're not a Christian, walk down here. Walk down to this altar. Wherever you are under this tent, if we have anyone that are not saved, don't know the Lord as your personal Savior. You don't have that personal relationship with him where you experience salvation. And you're here this morning. Walk down to this altar. Come. Is there one? I like to do this man. Every Christian sit down. Every unsafe stand up. Every Christian sit. Every unsafe stand up. If you're not a Christian, stand up. Don't sit. Standing somewhere in the shadow, you will find Jesus. Lord, I put your children into your hands this morning. They are your and me. I ask today, Lord, that you do for us what no other power can do. Today we speak deliverance in the land. 
We speak the word in the light. And we declare that God, they are saved by your power. In the name of Jesus. Touch them, Lord. We pray thee, Father, in the name of Jesus. God, rest your hand upon them. In the name of God. Draw them unto you, God. I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, I give you thanks. Lord, I give you thanks. Lord, I give you thanks. Deliverance, somebody. Lord, I put your church in your hands again. I ask that you revive us as a people, Lord. Help us to recognize that you are our helper and the church belongs to you. Help us recognize that the church is secure in you, Jehovah God. Help us, Almighty God, to recognize you have given us the key, the authority, the power to bind, to loose, to deliver, to set free. So this morning, we declare that, Father God, everything that seemed to tie up God, we loose in the name of Jesus. Upon the authority of the Holy Ghost, we loose God what needs to be loosed today. In the name of Jesus, we lose the atmosphere, we lose worship, we lose praise, we lose the anointing, we lose everybody that is bound and tie up Jehovah God. We lose them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, we give you praise today for the victory. We lose. Hallelujah. We lose. Lord, we declare victory. We declare victory, Jehovah God. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For victory. In Jesus' name. Somebody lift your hand, open your mouth, and show. Jesus, I shall know. Oh, yeah. As we kneel by His side, I shall stand. Oh, I shall know Jesus. I shall know. Hallelujah. Yes. By the prince of the day in His hand. Oh, I shall know Jesus. I shall know. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Somebody say, I shall know Jesus. I shall know. Glory, 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 glory. As you can of the name. Brothers and sisters, before you take your seat, I'm going to do something that I'm, I'm not accustomed to doing. I'm going to ask you for a special offering for the speaker this morning. So I'm just going to invite you to come right along. Corsa is just lead us in one or two quick songs. Please come along and, and let us bless the servant of the Lord with a special offering this morning. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. Victory today is mine. Oh, victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Oh, 
again we thank you for the blessings that your servant has ministered to us today. Thank you for the authentic word that was presented. And I pray for comprehensive blood coverage on your servant, O oh God, as he continues to deliver the word you lay on his heart. I ask in the name of Jesus that the anointing power of God may be manifested continually through his life and his ministry. May you help him to win souls for the kingdom and to bring much glory to your name. Thanks for your children who have given this special offering today. And I ask that you will sanctify it, you will bless it. And Lord, whatever your servant chooses to do with it, we pray that your name will be glorified through Jesus Christ, O Lord. Amen and amen. Just want to let you know that this evening, the Reverend Dr. W. A. Blair is going to be ministering for us. And uh, I understand that the entire Bayside Church is going to be closed tonight. And they're going to be coming here to worship with us. That creates a problem for us, a good problem. We're going to need additional seating. So I'm going to ask some of the brothers if you would assist by bringing over some of the shorter benches from church so that we can have more seating space. I'm not sure who is going to be organizing it, but it needs to be organized so that we can get additional seating here tonight. We don't want to allow them to come to our place and then they have to stand on the outside. So please assist where that is concerned. And we have a number of ministers that we'll be sharing this week. And we want you to continue to pray and trust the Lord for a mighty move of the Spirit of Almighty God. We are trusting God for, for the deliverance of, of men and women, boys and girls. We are trusting God for a mighty outpouring of His Spirit. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Once again, I want to say thank you, my brother and colleague, for coming and for ministering again as the Lord led you. May God bless you and continue to bless you. Praise God. And my officer is just hinting in my ears that he's asking me to observe the parking when you come. So ushers, please direct them. Um, security on the outside so that the parking will be a particular way. Thank you so much. Reverend God will come with the benediction. Put your hands together one more time for Evangelist Kato. Before the benediction, the secretary is going to be coming with the announcement. Put your hands together for her. She comes with the announcement. Immediately following the announcement to give the benediction. Praise the Lord, church. These are the, these are the announcements for today, Sunday, April 16, 2023. Our crusade continues this evening, and it goes